fire, man! Got it, coach. The heat doesn't bother us. We live in the heat. Trainer Teddy Atlas is a tough guy. Good. You can't survive in the fight game unless you are a tough guy, and Teddy is plenty tough. He not only survives in the hurt business, he thrives in it. You know what made Evander Holly feel so good? He used to, even though you thought he was right in front of you, he was always here or here throwing his shots. But when it comes to helping others survive, Petty has great concern for those, shall we say, less fortunate. That's why 20 years ago, he created the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation, named after his late father, a doctor who took care of patients free of charge for 55 years, because as the doc would say, they needed to be taken care of. I just started out the foundation where we were helping the people that were falling through the cracks, people that uh, couldn't get help anywhere else. A mom, a single mom, that's working two jobs. She's got four kids and her utilities are being shut off in the middle of the winter. They shouldn't be shut off. We make sure they're not shut off. There you go. Thousand percent better. Teddy operates three gyms, helping take care of kids inside the ring. Hey guys. But he also makes sure to reach those and teach those outside of it. Like children at PS 373R in Staten Island with special needs. Real special are people that can lead, that can show examples. That's, that's a great gift. If you can show examples to other people and they can follow you in a good way. And I think you guys are the kind of people that can do that. You agree with me? You can be leaders. We know that we're cared about, that someone from outside of our school cares about us and cares about our kids. He's invaluable to us as a resource and I think he boosts everyone's self-esteem in the building, knowing that a man like that is there to really give to us and, and be our friend. Never forgetting where we came from, Teddy won't leave his roots in Staten Island. How important is he to the community? Just ask Borough President James Otto. A student of the human spirit and human condition, and a guy who gives more to this community than just about anyone, and when you've exhausted all other avenues for help and you're really at the end of your rope, that's when we go to Teddy and the Foundation and time after time, they are there. This is where all the memories are, you know? People that I care about. I mean, you gotta show them that you care about them. It's kind of ironic, while Teddy makes his living in the hurt business, the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation is in the business of healing. I think the most important thing is that we don't let people lose more than they've already lost. We don't let them lose their dignity, their pride. I know we met a few times. Okay, how you doing? When it comes to hometown pride, all of Staten Island can be proud of their resident tough guy, Teddy Atlas. What's up, Teddy? How hey, are you, good, boss? Buddy, how are you? Everything? Good. You see them in the stores, and they tell you, keep up the good work, and they tell you, we watch you, and they tell you that we're proud of you. And that's awful gracious of them. They don't have to say that. So in turn, you want to make them feel good. You know, you don't want to let them down. You know why we become stronger if we think about other people and we help other people? Because there's only so much you can do for yourself. That's true. Right? But if you care about other people, it makes you even stronger because you got to do a little bit more to take care of other people. So you got to be better.